All right, good luck to both teams today. We'll go ahead and we'll jump right in with round one. And so honey lambs, what would you like? The hedgehog, please. Okay, hedgehog it is. Here we go. That's not like a sports team uh, or anything that I can think of there. No. Me either. Yeah, should we go next? Yeah. Next, please. Never ever. Um, I mean, all that never ever comes up to me is the Taylor Swift lyric, but I don't know if. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, no, I get KCR. Yeah, I don't know. Um, next, please. I don't have it. Colorado. It's oh, like so the Philadelphia Eagles and the Eagles sing Desperado. Okay. Uh, so I'm guessing that a team name in that city is the band that played the song. I like that. I like that too. All right, let's go with it. Ellie? Okay, so these are cities where a professional sports team is the name of a band that sings the song that's the second part of the name of the card. I'm, I'm going to prompt you on that. Uh, it's the it a professional football team in those cities. So the first part of that, so like, for example, Philadelphia Eagles, the Eagles, the Eagles is a band that, uh, that and Eagles is also the football team in Philadelphia and they sing Desperados. Okay, yeah, no, that'll work. Um, so I'll go ahead and I'll give you the last clue here. Uh, New York Birdhouse and your soul. So yes, these are songs, songs, okay. songs by bands with NFL teams and I didn't need that professional football link in there to uh, NFL teams and their names. So for example, You've got Ruby by the Kaiser Chiefs, as, a, as in the Kansas City Chiefs. You've got New Orleans Never Ever, so Never Ever by All Saints, as in New Orleans Saints. And then you've already picked it up from this point on Desperado and uh, Birdhouse and You're Still By, They Might Be Giant. So good job for two points. And now we pass it over to Rainbow Connection. What would you like? Audrey, choose something. Um, we'll go with the crab, please. All right, crab it is. Here we go. Oh, that build was the back better. build back better. Yeah, back better. Should we move to the uh, next one? Yeah, let's do next. Next, please. Ooh, is that Ira Gershwin? Ira Gershwin. Yeah, sounds like it. Build back oh. better. I oh, it's A R A. Is it okay. A? Mm -hmm. It was an I R A. Yeah, so then it should be maybe like E R A or O R. Yeah. Where yeah. there. Three letters starting with a vowel or I R A. Was there was the I think the budget reconciliation was also called the IRA. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> maybe one more then. Next, okay. please. Yes. Yeah. They're all okay. IRA. Okay. I R A. Okay, go ahead, Audrey. Buzz. <laughs> Audrey? They're all IRA. Yes, they are. And here's your last two. Um, for a very polite and understated um, organization in Ireland that we hardly ever hear anything about. So yeah, uh, nice. IRA is the correct answer for all the clues. So good job for two points. And both teams are now on the board and tied. So we go back. We go back to Honey Lambs. So what would you like? The pretzel, please. Okay. Pretzel it is. Here we go. Okay. Uh, I don't know if these are like from a specific year. I can't, I, I'm not sure. Yeah. Do you know who that is? No. I'm not sure. Not uh, either. Shall we? Uh, next, please. Okay. Next. That's Bella. Um, are these, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, are these in some way blacksmithing tools? Um, so I could be like, like that. Uh, so like, anvil or hammer or i don't know let's do, let's do let's do next please so that's hopper okay the bellows the hopper oh i feel like a hopper is, is maybe. It, are these like glass blowing things i think you're right yeah Aaron, does that sound right i don't know so we have seven seconds should we do know. it i say go for it <laughs> all right ellie what do you have Glass blowing. Glass blowing? 
Yeah. Um, that is going to be incorrect. It passes okay. over to the other team. Here's your fourth clue. So we have, Sar I think it's Sergeant Shriver, Bellows, Hopper, Homer. Um, Edwards. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Do not uh, know. Homer, Hopper, Sergeant Shriver. Olympic Bellows, no. Gil. Special oh. Olympic. No, I can't think of anything. No, gosh. Um, they're all no. artists. I'm going to need an answer. Uh, let's say, yeah, they're all artists. I'm going to prompt you on that. Um, American all, artists. Um, there you go. You said American artists? Yeah. I'm going to prompt you one more time. They are artists who American artists who have something in the Chicago Art Institute. I'll go ahead and accept the answer just because you did give like artists. What I was trying to drive at with this is American painters. Oh, but I think oh. they're artists. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. So um so very specifically just to go ahead and give you the reveal on this. Um, we've got John Singer oh. Sargent is represented by Sergeant Shriver. We've got George Bellows, Edward Hopper is in Nighthawks fame, and then Winslow Homer with all the nice boats. So mm. uh, yeah, that is good for the steal and a point. And your additional reward, it is now your turn to pick. A new one, please pick something. Um, trans flag. All right, trans flag it is. Here we go. Ingmar Bergman is a Swedish, Swedish director. director. Yeah. yeah. The seventh mm -hmm. seal he directed. Um, mm -hmm. Lots of things with an and in the middle. Strawberry, all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. uh, can we have the next, please? Ooh. Okay. I, who is that? Plotus? Plotus, not entirely sure. Ingmar Bergman was not wrong. Plotus. Never heard of it. Next, please. Oh. All right. Oh, so pointy list. He's well. He's the subject of a Stephen Sondheim musical. Um, Sunday in the Park. Sunday in the Park. Sunday. Ingmar Bergman. Oh gosh, I don't know. Should we go Should to we the next do... one? Yeah, let's do the next, yeah. please. Brothers Brother Grimm. Brother. I think these are inspirations for Stephen Sondheim musicals. Yes, they yeah, are. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, the source material inspiration for Stephen Sondheim musicals. That is exactly correct. Woo! And, uh, there's job, a review there. So Ingmar Bergman was the inspiration for Little Night Music. Uh, Plotus was uh, uh, the inspiration for a funny thing happened on the way to the forum. And then you caught the other two with Sunday in the Park with George and Into the Woods. So oh, yeah. good job for a point. The most Thank smiles you. Ingmar Bergman has ever solicited. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're back to honey lambs. So what would you like for your final pick in round one? Uh, the dinosaur, please. All right, dinosaur, it is. Here we go. I have no clue. I don't know who that is. I mean, I Next, please. Okay. Right. Yeah, she's on Orange is the New Black. She's in a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, um, but that doesn't really, I don't know who Linda Hamilton is. That doesn't really help me there. Do we want to, one more? Uh, probably next place. Probably Malik. I mean, is there something that they're all in? Did they all get a specific award? They, did they all portray somebody in a biopic? Because he, because Rami Malik is. No, yeah. Did Laverne Cox do a biopic? Uh, I don't know. Um, are they all like Glad Awards or something? Do we want the next one? Next, please. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Are they twins? Because Laverne Cox. Oh has a twin. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I think you're right. I think you're right. Go ahead. Allie? Uh, th these are all twins. Um, I'm gonna prompt you on that. Uh, these do all these people have twins who are also actors? Not exactly what I'm looking for, but I but I can give it to you because they are in fact all twins. Specifically, they all have an identical twin. Oh. Yeah. And uh, here's actually pictures for you. And um, Laverne Cox is a identical twin. Famously played them like um, uh, like a version of them pre-transition for like Orange is the New Black. Um, mm -hmm. And then Linda Hamilton, you know her from uh, the Terminator 
franchise oh. and of course you know Rami Malek and Dylan Sproul so yeah but they um all are twins so good job for a point all right and so finally we have the horsey with the carrot on it. Ted for Rainbow Yay. Connection <laughs> here we go super sonic drum we can't hear mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> Uh, next, please. <laughs> Argentine citrus fruit. Maybe it's the anagram, or you look at the middle, like Sonic. Yeah. Citrus. To something secret. reorder. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. mur- 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 murders is an iconic supersonic. Hmm. Goodness me. Uh, should we just next, please? Yeah. Next please. one, yeah. Oh Generally. heavens. Generates adolescence. Makes teens. Buenos Aires orange. Tangerine. Tangerine is a citrus fruit. Okay, the first oh, part. Oh is, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, an anagram of. Should we buzz? Next, please. No, I think yeah. Okay, we'll get the next one. And we're <laughs> All right, Muffy. Um. It is you. Oh gosh, I don't know. Rearrange. Wait, no, I, can, the first word is a. Uh, it's an anagram of an example of the second part. So, um, for example, we have a citrus fruit. Tangerine is the citrus fruit. Uh, I don't know. Supersonic percussion is a drum. Percussion is like an anagram of supersonic. Like I was that. just very happy to let you keep talking and explain it for us. So that's awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, the first half Woo! anagram is an example of the second half. So yeah, you figured out percussion uh, oh. for drums, tangerine oh. an anagram of Argentine for citrus fruit, teenagers an anagram of generates for adolescence, and okay. this last one's kind of hard. Um, yeah, orchestra an anagram of fart horse for a musical ensemble. Because um, that comes but, up yeah. every day. <laughs> Cart horse. Oh, yeah. nice Great job for a point there and for figuring Putting it the out. Putting the cart before the horse did not help. Exactly. <laughs> In this case, the cart is absolutely before the horse. All right. And so at the end of round one, we're pretty close. Rainbow Connection has five, Honey Lambs has three. And we roll on into round two and we are back to Honey Lambs for your pick. The crab, please. All right. Crab it is. Here we go. Not pinging anything at all for me. No, I'm not sure. I'm not even like salmon, but I don't think particularly Washington anyway. Um, Yeah. Memorial Twin. Washington. I mean, I, I, yeah, no, I have like nothing. Uh, Next, please. Are these just holidays? Um, So what comes out? It's July 4th. But I don't know what the other thing. Oh, it's the it's the um, astrology, the zodiac sign of the holidays. Oh, oh okay. So, so that's a Cancer, I believe, right? Um, so crab. Yeah. Where's the Leo Cancer cutoff? So it'd be uh, July twenty first. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, so it's so. Independence <laughs> crab. Really? Yeah. Independence crab. Independence crap is correct. Good job. And that and, was uh, yeah, Aaron figured it out. It was that <laughs> was the zodiac sign following the federal holidays. Nice. Nice. Good job, guys. Yeah, so good job for two points. And now we are back over to Rainbow. What would you like? Um, Audrey, pick something. Um, the hedgehog, please. Okay. Hedgehog it is. Here we go. Oh, I picked the wrong one. Um, I think it has something to do with eyelids. You know, you, you can't close your eyelids or something. Oh, like that. yeah. Opia. And the, um, mm-hmm. n- mm-hmm. Next, yeah. please. Next. Very, but, very, very. Oh, vitamin. Um, like, this is a, this is vitamin, vitamin deficiency. Vitamin deficiency in C's. Uh-huh. Um, so, ABC, scurvy. And what are these? Yeah, D maybe is rickets. Like, rickets is D. I think I so. Yeah, that's vitamin D, and scurvy is vitamin C. Um, Can we go for it? Sure, go ahead. <laughs> you feel um, like who dares? <laughs> Audrey? Rickets. 
Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> yeah, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they are all vitamin deficiency conditions. So yeah, you absolutely figured it out. Vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C, and vitamin D. So great job for three points. Nice. We love scurvy and rickets. We love them. <laughs> At least today. <laughs> In this format. Mm -hmm. All right. And so we're back to honey lambs. What would you like? Let's take the trans flag, please. Okay. Trans flag it is. Here we go. I mean, there are a lot of songs with this name. I was gonna say, it's is it the first <laughs> single by the Alabama Shakes? I don't know. Um, yeah, or just this the most common names of songs, but it feels hard. Feels to know yeah, next, for please. What for? Victory. What? Well, hold on. Oh, Victory. Yeah. Three. Four. I don't know. What. Is this? Is this? No, this is the Girl Scout. What is four? Uh, no, eighty percent confidence in OQL. Like, I don't. I mean, like, that's, <laughs> I feel like that's. I mean, can we say that? <laughs> I I don't I don't I mean like I don't. This is not a, a symbol to me. Oh, um, it's B. It's B in sign language. How about oh, that? Great. Yeah, we're <laughs> four B in ASL. You mean this? Indeed. Yeah. Yeah, there we so, go. So what do you think the third one's gonna be? Yeah, it could be uh, the, the Girl Scout. Thing. Yeah, Scout's honor. Nice. And then uh, the example given here is actually not B, but hold on, if oh. I can do it. Oh, love it. Oh. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yeah, live long and prosper. So yeah, you absolutely got it there. All the hand gestures. Hold on. Victory, Scouts Honor, and I can't. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I just noticed that hand right there looks weird. Anyway, but no, you got it. They're all different point. emojis. Yeah. <laughs> One from every OS. Uh. <laughs> and this continues to be a really tight game as we go uh, to the second half of round two, Brainville Connection. What would you like? A new poem, please choose. Pretzel. All right. That's all it is. Here we go. Um, yeah. I mean, that's, that's uh, not very amazing. nice. Wait. I know. I was going to say it's a direction. Uh, it's a uh, east. Yeah, or it's a property and monopoly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and uh, Kenneth's grip. How about next, please? Next, mm -hmm. please. Lord the reader. So um, east, south, right? And east, then, south, west, and then it'll be north. North. Something for north. Toward the rear. That's that's stern or something. Stern, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's get one more. East, mm -hmm. Stern, yeah. Let's next, please. Oh, stern. stern. So okay. they're all par maybe parts of like. Oh, eastern, and stern. Oh right, a stern, stern. So turn maybe as well. E or an, yes, the bird, the turn. Yeah. Okay. Um, we think it is the seabird, a turn, T E R N. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> and yeah, you got the logic of it. So yeah, uh, Oriental is a term that can be refer uh, to refer to the Eastern part of the world. So you've got Eastern. And then towards the rear, which is a stern. And then, of course, everyone knows Howard Stern. And then the turn, which is the seabird. So very good. You got two points, all video. And now we are back to honey lambs for your last pick of round two. Well, we should take the unicorn since we didn't do it last time. Okay. Unicorn it is. And now we've got pictures. Here we go. Oh, well, <laughs> we love a picture. Two um, bass, I think. I'm not sure if I'm not positive on the fish, but yeah, we're just fish, but yeah, two fish, see. two fish, red fish, blue fish. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Um, should we just go next? Yeah. Next, please. That's, oh, that's not helpful. I don't know who that is. Uh, fish, no, not for me either. Um, Tubas, I don't know. I don't think is this the breast section right. getting higher? I don't know. Um, yeah, um, I don't know. Next, please. I don't, we don't know who she is. I mean, that's Viola Davis. 
So this is, is this, God damn it. it it's, it's, but it's orchestra getting higher. So it's violin, I think. Okay. I think that's uh, to, like, that's bass. And then oh, that's okay. viola. So what I would probably okay. tell finish, 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 Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I'm on so board. Okay. Yeah, sure. Picture of right. violin. I can take that. Um, yeah, these are uh, the orchestral string instruments as they get smaller. So that's your double bass over there on the left. That's Annette Funicello, the original Musketeer. Um, but, you know, that's also just, uh, I can tell your age by the things you know instantly sort of indicator too for me. Um, and then... Uh, <laughs> You've got a Viola Davis, and then we've got plots here representing violin, but a picture of violin will suffice. So yeah, uh, two points for Honey Lambs, and that brings you up to 10 for round two. And Rainbow Connection, you are now left with the dinosaur. That might be mad that you left him for last, but we'll see. <laughs> here we go. Ant. That's Ant. Uh, Fanta, like a drink. Fanta is something without an A on the end. Uh, next, please. Fantasy, furious. Huh. Fantasy, fantasia, furious, furiosa. furiosa. Fantasia, furiosa. Mm -mm. Um, something with a sa on the end. Um. Sure. Next, please. Yeah. Sinister. 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 Sinistra means Sin left in Italian. Sinistra. Fantasia, Furiosa, Sinistra, Asia, Sa, Ra, A U S. Sinister. Out of time. Mm. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> Muffy. Um, it would be something that's like, um, my, like my as, like M I S, <laughs> M I S. Uh, yeah. That is going to be incorrect. It passes over. My ass. No. Is there any chance that this is like a uh, Marvel thing? Like, isn't Furiosa one of Thanos's daughters or something like that? Um, I am really truly grasping at straws, and I don't know what I like. Do you think it's just something with a QA cutoff? Because I think like Furiosa, Sinistra, do we want to try something like that? Well, what, what's, what's the sequence? What's though? the sequence though is my Sa, Ra, Ka. <laughs> uh, I'm going to need yeah, an answer. Um, Go like, for it, Jerry. Like B U R. Uh, that is also incorrect. So um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the last clue and see if it makes sense for anyone. All E R. Okay. You notice the first clue has four letters. The second clue has oh. five letters. The third clue has six letters, and the and the fourth one has seven letters. Magnifier. No, nothing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so um, that's an abbreviated fantastic. Four, Furious five, oh. Sinister six, and then anything representing a group of seven would have sufficed. In this example, we had Magnifi for a magnificent seven. Gosh. Okay. What kind of wizard but, do you think I am? <laughs> <laughs> I think you all are wizards, and that's why you play this game. <laughs> So, uh, so that was that. So at the end of round two, we are 10 up going into the grid. So really tight game, you guys. So I just know the drill, three minutes on the grid. Good luck. Here we go. Oh my. Um, Mebeki, DeClerc, Zuma, and I think Ramaphosa. Bota. Bota. Are, oh, Bota. Bota yeah. are all South Africa. Nope. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ramposa, maybe Ramaposa? Ramaposa, Mabeki, De Klerk, and Zuma? Or try Bota with this instead. No, now try it with Zuma. Damn, all right. I'm going to look at other ones. Hold you can on. just think about it while I'm. Yeah, M Bulletin, Everest, Marshall, Taurus, Rocky. I don't even know what Mutlante is. No is idea. That... Could it be a, a anagram? Take. Jenkins, oh, yeah. Moth. 
have a bulletin. I'll type that. Bulletin board, boardroom. No. Platform. Boardroom. Marshall Tar Taurus is a star sign. It's a constellation. Pamir is, is a plateau. Everest is a mountain. Taurus. Is there a Mount Zuma? Pamir? There could be a beach. There's a Zuma beach, huh? I think. And so what? Rocky. Rocky. How about? No, it didn't work. Everest, Pamir, Zuma, Altai. Mm, maybe D well, Drakensberg, I... which we don't know anything about. Drakensberg, Everest. No. No, gosh. Um, Sand and Ricky. Oh, 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 oh. Mott Lance. So Ramposa and Becky, Zuma. And yeah, Dittler. there's got to be a South Africa pair in there. Yeah. Oh, uh, Bulletin uh, board. Uh, uh, Rocky Mountains, uh, uh, Everest, uh, Taurus. Uh, uh, Gosh, Bota. How about, wait, so De Klerk, Bota were both the white guys. Sweet apartheid, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think it goes Bota and Zuma and Becky. Did we try those four? Yeah, we tried that first. Yeah. Shoot. Um, um, how about Altai, Rocky, Everest, and Pamir? No. Pamir. This is rough. Well, yeah. Don't have much left time. All right. Um, any any um. Zuma and Becky. anagrams, Zygro, Zuma. Have fifteen seconds. Well, Zygro, Zuma, Motlanthe, and Becky. I don't know. We ain't getting that many. Motlanthe. Yeah. Gosh. Oh, oh well. Oh well. <laughs> Well, all right it's safe to say that the grid was not your friend this week but that's okay no. you can probably still get four points off of it if you're if you're lucky and if you're good so let's okay. see um your um your first group here is mm -hmm. going to be pamir taurus zagros and altai i would say those are maybe things in like in space like constellations or asteroids or something like that um, and we'll have like asteroid type things in space with names. No, um, unfortunately, no. They these are um, mountain ranges, specifically oh, Asian oh. mountain ranges. Gosh, yeah. okay. Primary is the only one. Your really next group is Bulletin, Ramaphosa, Drakensberg, and Boardroom. Maybe okay. these are. I don't know. Bulletin board. Newspapers, computer programs. Yeah, boardroom. Yeah. Things that have chairs. Now, this this one is actually your wordplay of the week. So if you look at the beginning of those words, they all start with male animals. So oh. you've got bull, ram, Gosh. drake, and boar. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. our next one is Matlante, Mbeki, De Clerc, and Bota. These are it South is, African yeah. leaders, yeah, we would say. Mm -hmm. Woo -hoo! Points on the board. All mm -hmm. right. And then your last group is Everest, Marshall, Rocky, and Zuma. These are um, characters from something, probably, right? Rocky. Yeah, Zuma. from what? I don't know. Um, plan? Like this? No. What was that, Onipola? Plants like plant like plants named up no Rocky Mountain. Not we'll try that. we'll we'll tr we'll try that. Okay. Like famous plan, yeah, like the you're, Marshall you're, plan. Unfortunately, unfortunately, uh you were closer before when you said characters from something. It helps to have a small child in your house that likes to watch a particular show because Everest, Marshall, Rocky, and Zuma are all members of the Paw Patrol. <laughs> <laughs> Paw Patrol. So, and in fact, they're not characters, Ken. They're real. They really go out and <laughs> I showed them. this to my stepson the other night and I showed him the four and I said, Who are they? He goes, Oh, they're from Paw Patrol. And then this one drives the fire truck. And this one, like, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that was clever with the Zuma. That was a good, yeah. a good uh, red herring. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you got a point. That's okay. We keep Woo-hoo. on marching. So, um, <laughs> right. All right. You guys have three minutes on the grid. You know the drill. So good luck. And here we go. All right. Um, are there mountain other mountain ranges? Everest. Right? The Altai is a mountain range. Um, so this won't be a range. It'll be. Is, are the Taurus? Oh, I was gonna say Marshall, but are those islands on the other? Marshall are islands. Okay, Becky. Uh, are there uh, like is? It, Wow, um, I'm not off to a great start. Um, shoot. Are there other like mythological or like um, constellations that we're recognizing at all? Not ones that I recognize. Bulletin board? Are there other types of boards? Is B- Botha board a thing? I believe that it's a thing. Um, well, there's also this board room, which would maybe seek to yeah, that- try and be a distractor. So that feels maybe promising. Um, um, oh no. Uh, are there? I'm just there gonna. Keep alt, kind of... Are there any other keys? Um, I'm just looking for. We've got marsh. We've got board. We've got rock. We've got Drake. We've got bull. Oh, Drake and bull are both names for male animals. And then ram. Uh, where do you see bull? Bulletin. Uh, Drakensburg, Ramaphosa, boardroom, and bulletin. Okay. Bulletin. Board, board, board. Ramaphosa. Ramaphosa. Thank you. Okay. Okay, that helps a little. Um, um, okay, are there. Are there Zagros Mountains? For some reason I'm getting a leaf there, but I don't know. Um, are there any other islands that we know? Did we already go over that? I'm sorry. Um, I thought we did, but I don't see any. There's also the Marshall Plan. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I believe there's like something like a de Klerk Plan or... Right, or it could be like just the name of somebody. Everest feels like it's got to be a misnomer of some sort. Or Rocky does, I don't know. Um... I'm just, I'm just clicking. I think that's. that's I, mean, I think there's, doing. there's going to be mountain ranges because I do think Altai yeah. is a mountain range. So we have, of those we have, what is it? Altai, Rocky, Everest that we believe in. Well, uh, Everest isn't a range; it's just a mountain. So I'm not, I, but we're mountain. Okay. I think we've, um, and I, I think we've done. Uh, yeah, if you see anything else that I should try and yeah, we're locked out. So yeah. I think you're locked at this point. Yeah, but um, you've got a point. So let's see how many more points you can pick up on oh, the grid. So anyways, oh. so um, <laughs> so Bulletin, Drekensburg, Bortrom, and Ramaphosa. So go ahead, go. They, they, the beginning of the word is the name of a male animal. Correct. So yeah, um, and you said it earlier, bull, drake, boar, and ram. Your next group is Pamir, Taurus, Zagros, and Altai. Do you think that's the one? Possibly try it. Yeah, uh, we'll say those are, we think those are, we're interested to say those are mountain ranges. Um, I'm going to prompt you on it. In a specific continent that I'm stalling to see if my teammates have a thought about. The Asia? Yeah. Asia yeah. Ranges. Thank God. <laughs> I, I, I love the stall on it. You're like, they're on a specific continent <laughs> the name of which would happen to be. <laughs> All right. Oh, boy. All right. <laughs> Your next group is Matlante, Becky, De Klerk, and Bata. It's places in South Africa. I don't know, or are they, it could be something South African. It could be like soccer players or something, but I don't specifically oh. recognize any of them. But oh, what's your answer? Um, 
let's, uh, let's yeah. maybe maybe this some something South African. I don't know. Something South African. They're they're all from South. They're all South African things. So something South African is your answer. <laughs> I, I mean, they're so, I'm going to say it a little nicer than that. They're South African things. Yeah. No. Okay. So, I'm gonna have to prompt you. <laughs> oh well. Sh um, okay. African yeah. leaders. Sure. I don't think. Right, so, I mean, so your prompt, so your prompt on um on South African things, and your answer was, Aaron. I think we'll say South African leaders because the only one I actually recognize is Zuma, but I think that may be the red herring that is telling me that's what the other ones are. Okay, um, well, the only thing that I recognize here is actually besides Zuma is De Klerk, who was the South African president before Nelson Mandela. So yes, these are all South African leaders. So absolutely good pull on that. And then your last group is Everest, Marshall, Zuma, and Rocky. Are these explorers of some sort? Oh know who Rocky the Explorer is. But I also <laughs> you know, and well and Bullwinkle. He is the only explorer. They all have friends named Bullwinkle. All right. <laughs> I don't think that's it. Okay. Okay. We, What's your answer on that group? we say do we say explorers? I don't have anything better. Or are, are, are they plans or something? I don't know. I, I let's say let's say plans. Okay, plans or explorers. Blank plans. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I get where you're going with that. Unfortunately, that's not it. Um, it really helps to have a child in your house uh, for this particular one because uh, these are all characters on a certain children's show. So Everest, Marshall, Zuma, and Rocky are all members of the Paw Patrol. Oh, of course they are. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, so four points. This group was cruel to both teams this week, um, just flat out it was. So Rainbow Connection picked up one on the grit, goes up to 11 points. Honey Lambs picked up four on the grit, goes up to 14. So you guys are still really, really close it's going into round four. And then I have a quick question for y'all. Um, so far this season, um, how many wins uh, does your team have? None for going on. Oh, this might be a big game for one team tonight, so we'll see how it goes. All right, so before we go into round four, uh, just a quick reminder to be careful because this is the only round where you can actually lose points. So, all right, here we go. Good luck to everybody. Your first subject tonight is famous American trees. Here we go. Nothing. General Sherman. That is correct. The next one. Gary. Hangman's Elm. Correct. The next one. Aaron. The tree that owns itself. Correct. And your last one, this group. Aaron. Methuselah. Correct. All right. And your next group here is band names if pronouncing the punctuation. Here we go. Aaron. Panic exclamation point at the disco. That is correct. Your next one. Gary. AC slash DC. Correct. The next one. <laughs> Allie. Portugal period the man. Correct. And your last one, this group. <laughs> Audrey. Um, gun ampersand roses uh that goes over oh. and i'm um, gonna time that out all right it is guns in mm. apostrophe oh. Roses. oh i was with you audrey i was thinking mm -hmm. the same thing yeah um, 
car break on that one, but that's okay. Our next group is going to be two capital cities that are nearly antipodal to each other. And here we go. Anupama. Jakarta and Bogota. Correct. The next one. Anupama. Taipei and and that times out, it goes over. And yeah, that goes dead. Um, it is Taipei and Asuncion. Oh. Yeah, yeah, the first half of it. All right, your next one. Nupama. Madrid and Wellington. There you go. That is correct. And then your last one, this group. Um, Dili and Paramaribo. Correct. Nice. Wow. And that was all you. you Good job. All right. And then uh, your last group tonight is Square Films. And here we go. And unfortunately, that one timed out. So you've heard of three board billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. This is nine billboards outside oh. Ebbing, Missouri, because oh. we're looking for square films. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here's your next one. That one also times out. You've heard of the 40-year-old virgin. This is the 1,600-year-old oh virgin. That's a long time to wait. All right. <laughs> your, your next one. Gary. 64-legged freaks. That is correct. Oh. And then your last clue for tonight. I'm afraid that one time's out as well. This is the naked gun, six and a quarter, the smell oh of beer. Oh my God. I know, like you start dealing with me. like, you know, fractions of numbers and do not. Anyway. <laughs> All right, so that was the that was your round four. So we're gonna go ahead and credit two points to Brainbow Connection for a final score of 13 and seven points to Honey Lambs for a final score of 21. Great game, everyone. Nice Honey Lambs, game. you got your first win. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, all. Congrats on the, yeah, so that, great, like yeah. running the capitals of Uma. That was amazing. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> so incredible. <laughs> Finally, I got something. <laughs> no, like Anupama, seriously, for that, for, that was an impressive run. Um, yeah. For the, for the Antipodal Cities, that was impressive. So, so great job, you guys. I hope you had fun. Um, oh, well, thank you. Good reading, Kenya. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, as always, for reading. reading. You're quite welcome. All right, you guys have a good night. Take you care. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.